Hi, I'm Sarah Jane at Natural Heating and this just goes to show why I'm so particular about what we sell through the shop. Not every stove is the same and not everything can be assessed from what you see on paper. Um, if it's not good enough for me to spend my money on, it's not good enough for me to spend your money on, so it basically doesn't make the grade to come into my shop. That's why all the models that we have on sale here, I have actually individually run them, tested them and know how they burn and perform. I'm not going to disclose what a couple of these stoves are to you, but I'm going to show you why there's, there's two stoves that I have to hand that will never make it for sale through our shop. Now, this first one is a Termtec TT20 Streamline R, and it is one of the best selling stoves that we have as a budget freestanding cylinder. And we like this one a lot. Now, as standard, this is a 10 inch split log I have here. And when you are buying logs from your log merchant, um, generally you'll buy 10 inch splits that if you were buying kiln dry, that's how they come. Now, just to show you why we do like this stove, there is plenty room in that firebox, lots of space, and this is a five kilowatt stove. Now, this other cylinder that we have got in for testing purposes, which is not even going to get as far as being burned, this is the reason why it's not coming for sale in my stock shop. I can't fit the logs in the door. See? Now, that would drive me crazy. If I can fit it in front to back, but it's so tight that you will end up breaking that glass. If you've got a hot red ember in there, you'll literally, quite literally, you'll break it. And these glasses are not cheap when you get into curved glasses. This just doesn't make my grade. It's not even got as far as lightning because I wouldn't be happy with it. Now, you can get it in at an angle and put it kind of upright or wedge it in. But if that is hot, it just goes in past the line in the inside and you're going to end up burning yourself. So I'm afraid for me, it's not worth spending my money on. Is it worth yours? Uh, here is a second stove. And again, I'm not going to tell you what this is because it's just not coming in my shop in the first place. And I'm not one for slate and things, especially when I haven't even burned it. But the door catch on this is so light that if you slam it hard, it will bounce right back open and you barely need any pressure to get that to catch now i've been told that in time once that door is opened and closed lot, lots it will catch better but to be perfectly honest the door catch is just rubbish and i wouldn't trust it i wouldn't trust somebody not to shut the door on it properly and walk off and leave it I think it's just downright dangerous. So again, it's another stove that's just never going to meet what I offer for sale in the shop because it's not good enough. It doesn't matter what it costs. It doesn't matter where it's made. It's just not what I would want. So why would you want it? As you see, I'm quite particular about what we offer um, because I think it should do the job that I wanted to do, whatever the price point could be. It could be cheap, it could be expensive. The price isn't what matters, it's the functionality and the performance. And if it isn't good enough at its price point, or it isn't safe enough, if I wouldn't want it, why should you want it? The way I look at it, everything is trust-based. You trust me to help you try and make the right decisions or offer you the right advice. And that is why it's important to actually come into a shop, touch and feel things, look at them and understand the differences in what you're buying. You can't see these things from a brochure. You can't see it when you look at it online. You need to touch it, you need to feel it. And you need to know that who's selling it to you is you. That's what we really like to pride ourselves in in natural heating. We do for you what we believe we would want for ourselves. Yeah.